Please. Well, so um, probably today I was lucky with my opening because um, the first time I was uh, playing the right face line that I, which I analyzed uh, at home. So that's why I expected that I will be. So it won't be too difficult to equalize the game. It's a popular line. Now this. So Anish previously played it for several times, so that's why I was ready. Okay. And here I decided to play rare move, move, Bishop G4. So it's a bit tricky idea to exchange uh, this bishop instantly, because normally uh, you have some problems with with this bishop here, because uh, maybe in some end games, then you exchange uh, queen on G2. Uh, Black stands slightly worse because so probably of this bishop here. Yeah. Can't find a nice place. Here's the rook c1, maybe the most principal. Take, take. So it was also possible to take with queen, but uh, uh, it would be really another <laughs> game. This way. Uh, exchange it. And castle. Well, so black uh, nearly equalized the game. Yes, yeah, so probably the most um, the strongest move here is d5 to prevent uh, the e6 idea. Yeah, but uh, I think also like more or less okay there. E4 is also interesting. Yeah, but after e4 e6, I don't have uh, I think any problems because uh, now this pawn becomes uh, really weak. So also white can't play uh, d5 because uh, they get uh, a lot of weakness and bad uh, pawn structure. Yeah, and the other idea to play. Bishop g2, knight c6, e5. So maybe d5, uh, there is also some lines there, but uh, probably it's also a draw after d5. Yeah, and after e5, uh, I was uh, thinking a lot because uh, I didn't uh, know if uh, I'm already better here or not. So I thought that maybe after knight b4, bishop takes on b7, rook b8, and so on. Okay, white uh, cannot be worse. So that's why uh, I decided to play queen a5, probably to make uh, a first draw after queen d2, queen a6, this, this. Okay, it's a repetition. So I was ready to agree for a draw here, yeah, but um, Anish, uh, uh, a great fighter, so my young opponent was uh, willing to win, so that's why he played bishop e1. Okay, it's also an interesting move, but here. I think uh, position is very complicated, but generally um, white uh, cannot be much better or better anyway, because, uh, well, the pawn structure is really bad. This uh, bishop only free is more likely a pawn, so this bishop just uh, doesn't have uh, any moves. Well, so, and uh, white also trying to play without castle, so just to use the strong uh, center. Rook c4, queen b5. Okay, it's a tricky idea. Now my queen is uh, hanging around uh, white squares. Somehow I'm trying to create some more weaknesses in my opponent's position. Well, rook c5 is principal, I think. Queen b1, king d2. So here yeah, I, I was uh, wondering how can how could black uh, white not lose immediately because after knight takes on d4, queen takes d4, rook d8. There is uh, all this move like queen a4 and everything is protected. So that's why I was disappointed. But okay, I still can play more, uh, some few goal moves if free. Okay, you know, rook 1 I think is not, it's not it's because I just play rook d8 and uh, fainting to take on d4. If free, queen e5. So it's very interesting position because um, black's queen. Uh, is uh, really in danger because uh, <coughs> probably it, uh, much like bishop on e3 some moves later because uh, soon it won't uh, have uh, any moves so after h4 it's already idea bishop h3 h4 and d5 so i must play queen h5 but uh, uh, now okay white uh, uh, i'm doing everything uh, uh, under the plan, so queen is uh, <coughs> out of the game, 
for some time, but uh, still the king uh, is very weak here, very big structure, and weakness on d4 is very serious. So they should uh, do something and uh, do it immediately. Bishop g3, rook d8, bishop h3. Okay, queen is almost trapped. Bishop e5. So I'm trying to uh, okay, fight for d5 square and also prepare a nice square on g7 on, or e8 for my queen. Bishop g4. Okay, here for a moment I was wondering what would be if I take on g4, take, take, take on c5. Yeah, but okay, I think I don't think uh, black is worse there, but uh, also black should fight for a draw probably. Queen e6 is more interesting. <coughs> rook c4. Maybe rook c1 was better, but rook c4 is pretty logical move. Yeah, but now it's very difficult to do something uh, mm, for white because uh, black's idea is very, very strong and very easy to realize it. So just rook d5, then rook d8, to probably to any move, and bishop c5. So, like it was in the game, h5, rook d8. Well, so there is uh, a nice harmony in uh, black pieces. Even this queen somehow helps with knight e5, uh, knight e4, f6, so some tricky ideas. Uh, well, so rook h3, maybe it's uh, too risky, but anyway, black is much better even after rook c1. For example, I can play bishop e7 to prevent this idea of bishop e4. Then to prepare something like queen g7, e5. Okay, so this bishop is out of play. White has a really weak pawn on d4, so I think white is just bad. But uh, rook e3, I think, uh, gives some practical chances, yeah, but uh, unlucky, everything is okay. Unlucky for white. Okay, take, take. Yeah, and here it, will, it would be nice uh, attacking ideas, connected with bishop h5 in, and d5, but uh, very strong uh, tactical continuation here was and takes on d4. So now white is absolutely lost, because uh, every time I have always check on g2, so Anish uh, probably uh, spent the last of his time, so he played king e1. And here it's not so easy to play for black, for example, after queen e6. I get something like queen g5 check, and white still in game, because some really strong ideas against black's king. Yeah. But here, uh, also a nice move. Knight takes on e3, so now most pieces are exchanged. And so white probably losing by force. Okay, so the rest is not so interesting. So just take take. Okay, after bishop g6, I would play knight d2, then knight c4, then exchange uh, these bishops, and having two extra pawns in this end game. So that's why black is absolutely one in this line. So maybe that's why Anish decided to play a tricky move. Bishop takes only three. Yeah, but uh, also, what is also hopeless here? Hopeless. So just take, take. Right here. Losing by force. Check. One more check. So if king d3 just queen f1, and after this also queen f1. So there's a lot of um, really uh, strong threats like this, and in queen f2 and queen h2. Yes, yeah, so just made a white king, so that's why white uh, resigned. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, I might have a question about another game. What happened against Aronia? Can you explain that? Well, against Lemon, uh, I wasn't expecting uh, this line in Greenfield, yeah, but uh, somehow it's not so tricky for white. Just I should uh, play c5, and uh, after queen b7, to play queen b6. Well, I understood this pretty well. So and suddenly I decided to improve, yeah, improve this line. Because after queen b6, queen b6, a takes b6. Why play something like knight e3 yeah, and trying to get some advantage. Okay, but, but you decided this behind the board? Behind the board, of course, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, I saw, wow, I can just take on d4 uh, on uh, before this queen b6, yeah, take on d4, and then get the same endgame already with exchange of pawns, which would, would be pretty nice for black. Yeah, and I totally forget about uh, bishop e4, which protects uh, uh, white rook on c1. So that's, wh that's why I abandoned this rook, so probably I wanted to give up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, it's not so pleasant to lose in 10 moves, so that's why I decided to make some more. Okay.